okay guys hello so real quickly i just want to you know i have things in my mind that i just feel like talking about Ooh. oh yeah Ooh, i hate backing up okay sorry i just heard somebody beeping a horn and trying to see what's going on but um so somebody made a post with uh vanessa bryant you know and said what kind of questions do you have for vanessa bryant you know this is a youtuber you know how you post things in the community post and it was a picture of Vanessa Bryant. And it was like, what kind of questions do you think would be for Vanessa Bryant? And um, like I said, people are really opening their eyes. They're not, they're not thinking everything is just a freak accident anymore. People are really starting to um, think about things, you know. But one of the questions I saw was, um, you know, how does she feel? It was another black woman that said well how does she feel about black women and this is what i wanted to talk about because black women are so worried about who likes them and who don't like them instead of just rising and like i said i'm just yeah i'm just saying what's on my mind because I, right now it doesn't like black women um for the most part okay as a as a collective i'm not talking about individuals because um you do have individuals black women who can care less about what other folks think but um, for the most part, black women seem to be overly concerned with what non-black women specifically think about them. Um, because they had this question for Cardi B, too. They had this question for the Kardashians. Black women are so, I don't know if they need validation from these non-black women or what they're looking for. I don't, th I don't think that's what this question was about, though. I don't think she wanted validation from this Vanessa Bryant person, the person that asked that question. I think sometimes they just want to know how folks feel about black women. Well, let me tell you something. Most of these, I'll just say this, um, and then I'm going to say something else. Most of the, a lot of these ladies who are with these black men do not like black women. They, are in, they don't like black women at all. But here's um, what I want to say. Who cares? Who cares? Who Vanessa Bryant likes if she likes black women or not? Who cares if Cardi B likes black women or not? Who cares if Kim and Khloe Kardashian or Kylie Jenner like black women or not? Who cares? Why can't you just rise on your own without without any kind of validation from the Kim Kardashians and the Khloe Kardashians of the world and the Cardi B's and the Vanessa Bryant's? Why can't you just rise? Why do you keep worrying about what these non-black women think about you? Okay? And like I said, they're not going to... A lot of... Unfortunately, a lot of black women just will not reach this. They, they, they won't get there because they like... Uh, they like confusion, unfortunately. They just like confusion. Okay? You know, um... So anyway, um... I just wanted to talk about that, you know, um, not worrying about what other folks think about you. Just rise, you know, like I said, it's just my thoughts. We know that's not going to happen anytime soon. But just rise unapologet unapologetically. Don't care about what somebody think of you. You rise unapologetically and you do what you got to do to rise regardless of who likes you or who likes it or who doesn't, okay? People that go and spread these viruses and spread all these different um, plagues and stuff so they can, you know, kill certain people off the land so they can take it over. Did they care who was going to like it or not? No, I'm not saying that black women should kill people in order to rise. I'm not saying that. I'm saying is that black women care too much about what somebody else thinks. That's what I'm saying. And you have other folks that run this world because they have done because of colonization and it's because they have done and it's not just you know europeans but uh they have done some very heinous things and they could have cared less only thing they cared about was domination only thing they cared about was being on top they can care less of who liked him them and who didn't and so what i'm saying is um black women preoccupy themselves with what other people think about them too much and this will this will always anybody not just black women but anybody who constantly preoccupy themselves with what somebody else thinks about them will never ever rise they will never ever grow they will never ever ascend because people are going to think all kind of things about you 
people are not going to want to see you do well. You just can't preoccupy yourself with what people think. The people who run this world, the people who run this earth, uh, did a lot of things that people would disagree with. Okay, they did some very, very, they did a lot of things that people would, would not be happy with, that people would protest against, but that didn't stop them from doing what they had to do to get what they want. But black women are so focused on what black men think of them, I guess because they keep giving birth to them. I don't know, but, you know, any other group of women, you know, won't take that level of um, abuse. And when I say abuse, I'm not just talking about domestic because I know in different countries or other parts of the world, a lot of those women give birth to their sons and their sons, you know, um, divide with them too. Like, for instance, Argentina, you know. But uh, in other places, too. But what I'm saying is that not only has this black man devoured black women and black children, he had the nerve to go online and, and put so much negativity out into the ethers about black women. And when you put stuff out into the ethers, I think most people know that a lot of things, that things start spiritual first. Ethers, ether, etheric realm, spiritual realm, whatever you want to call it. Things start spiritual first. And then it manifests into physical reality. And so, like I said before, what we see this happening and the, 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 some, some of the hate that people just love to have for black women is because it's, it's been put out in the spiritual realm, the etheric realm, whatever you want to call it. It was put out there first and then it manifested. OK. And um, but black women are so worried about being validated that they just cannot grow. They can't grow. And that's why when I made the other audio about the communities of their own, I, I wasn't talking about this group of black women in the United States. Because I don't even think about the Western world like that. Besides having to live here and survive, I don't think about the Western world like that. So when I made that little audio about communities, there's, there's black women all over the planet. So my mind is not stuck on the United States and black women that's in the United States that's, you know, um, fussing about black men. I, my mind ain't stuck on them. I'm not trying to change them, period. I'm not trying to change anybody's personalities, um, you know. But anyway, um, now that's all I got to say. I'm going to end with, you know, just, you know, just um, this is just why you never rise worrying if if somebody likes you or not you will never rise constantly worried about what somebody thinks of you who cares if Vanessa Bryant might hate black women and, and what you gonna do about it okay so what if she say she hate black women what what you gonna do about it why do you care why is this lady so important that you want to know what she thinks about black women why is she even that freaking important because the people who, tour, who who sprays the sky with them doggone chemtrails every day, the people who um, mess up the water, you know, and, um, and who, who just ruin this land, they didn't care that people didn't like the fact that they were being poisoned. Okay, and now they got to buy all these filters and do all this extra stuff so they can tr and, and buy organic food, but not organic food in the United States is not so organic anymore. Okay, but the people who did all of this, they didn't care that they were hurting human beings. They didn't care that they was making the area unhealthy. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be heinous like that. What I'm saying is the people who really run this world and get, got what they wanted um, did not care who was going to agree with them. And they did not care if somebody liked them. Okay. But anyway, um, that's all I got to say. And I'll talk to you soon.